I'm talking about, guys. Yamaha is making some really sick bikes. At the MT-07, they've got the, you know, their dirt bikes are awesome. Uh, you know, all of their bikes. The MT-10 is an awesome bike. Uh, so many sick bikes. But you know what? There's one bike that Yamaha needs to build now. Let's go for a ride. Woo! Cooking it, boy, out here in these back roads out here. Back on the sickest bike that I've ever owned. The most fun, the most amazing and thrilling bike. My custom 2019 YZ450 FX Supermoto. And if you want to see how I built this, I have a build series on this and I have the link in the description and comment section of this video to show you how to build one up to make it street legal and make it proper for the streets out here. It's time to go out here and bust some willies. Make sure you're wearing the gear for those of you guys who want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tent shield, my motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, Sadichi jacket, shorty gloves. All my gear always include links in the description and comment section of my video. I will tell you, I did a video back in the day, you know, after Ducati made the uh, V4 Panigale. I said, if they make a V4 Street Fighter, that would be absolutely sick and epic. And you know what? They listened and they built that bike. I don't know if my video had any input on it. <laughs> but a lot of people were doing videos saying they should build a new V4 Street Fighter. And they, they listen to us, man. That's what I love about Ducati. They listen and they make sick bikes. That felt good. I'm busting some wheelers. But anyway, yeah, the motorcycle that they need to build, or should I say rebuild, or, or totally scratch and make a, a, a brand new bike, is they need to make a new Yamaha V-Max. The VMAX they have right now is a, it's a, still a sick bike. Don't get me wrong, guys. I was going to buy one. It was at the top of my list. I was close. I was close. But I couldn't pass up the, uh, the value on the MTL9, man. It was like five, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 cheaper. <laughs> couldn't pass it up. Brand new. I got that MTL9. 9000 out the door. You can't beat that with a stick. Got all that grunt down low. But that, that VMAX, whoo, that VMAX, boy. That's a must. Yeah, baby. I'm telling you, Ducati has their XD Avell, which I owned in the past, 2016. Absolutely amazing bike, even in stock form. I did nothing to that bike, and that was an amazing bike. A lot of torque, it's lightweight for a cruiser, it handles well in the twisties, man. Um, a beautiful looking bike. And then, of course, Triumph came out with the new Rocket 3. Got what, much more torque than the XD Avell, but it's heavier. It is a beast in weight, though, man. But they made it better to handle in the twisties, and it's got a lot of new features. Lot, and that bike, I hear, is pretty awesome, man. Pretty cool bike. But I tell you, if, the, if Yamaha came out with a new VMAX, with that V4, with an a updated V4 engine, and woo! That would be so sick and make it handle better because right now that bike you're not taking that bike in a twisty that bike you're going to rip it on the off the line in a straight line that's it you're not going to mess around in twisties at all with that bike you're going to take it to the drag strip you know what i'm saying that's what you're going to do with that bike with this bike Busting some wheelies. <laughs> yeah, baby. You ain't busting the wheelies on no VMAX. <laughs> Feels good too, baby. Feels real good. Yeah. Chasing them wheelies. Chasing them wheelies. Good times, baby. Oh, I love, I love this bike. But I tell you, if they come out with and updated VMAX guys. Oh my goodness. 
I would buy one. I would buy one, guys. That would be my cruiser. Of course, I'm keeping my, up my bikes right now. I'm collecting bikes now, by the way. I'm not getting rid of bikes. I'm collecting them now, officially. Okay. It's time to fill my garage up once again. You know, I had four bikes in the past. Um, it's time to get back to having four bikes. I miss having all different kinds of bikes, even though this is all I need out here on the streets. But I tell you, if they come out with a VMAX, boy, woo! A new VMAX? I'm telling you, man, people will skip the Triumph Rocket 3 and XD Avail. They will leave those bikes in the dust and go straight to that brand new VMAX, man. Yamaha, if you're listening, do it. Please, do it. You're behind times with that VMAX. It's old, man. That bike is old, old, old. It's still a great bike, don't get me wrong. It goes all the way back to, I think, 2012 or 13, before they made updates. It's really old, man. And I, I, I believe they probably do that because they can adhere to the old... They don't have to adhere to the new admissions laws with that old bike. It's kind of grandfathered in. Yeah, hear that single boy? <laughs> Sounded proper. But anyways, man, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. You think they should rebuild, do, build a whole new VMAX and, and make it compete with the XD Avail and Rocket 3? I want to hear what you guys have to say about it, man. If they did, would you buy it? Because I will, man. I'll tell you that. And it'll probably be more affordable than the Triumph and, and uh, Ducati. Because them bikes are ridiculous. Especially the Ducati XD Avail, that sucker brand new, like $25,000, $26,000, man. And the Triumph Rocket 3, that's a, it's in the 20s too. It's up there too. Uh, so Yamaha, they probably bring it to about, probably about $20,000. Yeah, I'd pay twenty dollars for it though. That'd be sick, man. So leave a comment, let's talk about it. I love talking about motorcycles with you guys, man. That's what keeps me doing these videos. But uh, anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my All In One Motorcycle channel. And also check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. <laughs>